Hi, my name is Lauren Schulhorn, and I am a master guide here at Historic Bell Fountain Cemetery located at 4947 West Florissant Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here not only as a volunteer for the cemetery, but also as an educator at Eureka High School to introduce you to Susan Blow, one of the most important historic figures for not only myself as a teacher, but for my two young children who are currently in elementary school. Susan Blow was the daughter of Henry and Minerva Blow, and during this time when so many were keeping women in the shadows, Henry Blow actually was very progressive in terms of how he felt about educating his daughters. In fact, Susan Blow was attending school in New York whenever she had to stop going to school because of the Civil War. But she continued on her education, even serving as a translator in Portuguese to her father, who was an ambassador to Brazil and to Venezuela. Later, she would travel to Germany where she would learn about the Froebel method of educating children. Bring those ideas which were based on the idea that children learn best, especially young children, through play. She witnessed children who were learning math and spelling and their letters through playing with things like blocks and different manipulatives. She brought this type of technique back to the United States where she implemented at the, the Pear School in St. Louis in Carondelet, the very first kindergarten system. Susan Blow has truly left a major impact on so many through the contribution she left for the starting of the kindergarten system. I as an educator and the mother of two young elementary students could not be more grateful for what she did to emphasize that children truly need to begin their educational career through learning through play so they can learn to love learning and enjoy the things that they're going to be seeing in their classrooms. You can learn more about Susan Blow and other famous women who were so critical to our country by visiting the St. Louis History Museum's exhibit Beyond the Ballot, St. Louis and Suffrage. Women have always had a voice in St. Louis, even before the vote. Beyond the Ballot, St. Louis and Suffrage brings their inspirational stories and groundbreaking achievements to the forefront. Discover them at the Missouri History Museum. Plan your visit at mohistory.org.